Coming up on Weekend Sunrise, the final countdown. Restrictions set to ease even further in New South Wales, what it means for the fully vaccinated. And video store comeback, what's behind the rising popularity of the 90s icon? You know, there are hopes a, a fresh wave of nostalgia could save our last few video stores before they're lost forever. First video killed the radio star, then streaming services were just as brutal, destroying the video hire industry. A new Aussie documentary, Last Store Standing, captures the rise and demise. And there you go, we can actually walk and talk, who would have thought? But the video vibe is alive for some modern fans, like an American who has handcrafted a replica blockbuster store <laughs> in his basement. And video gamers will soon be able to have virtual visits to video stores with a PlayStation VR game due out any moment. Joining us now are documentary makers James Manning and Ben Kenny, who owns a video store in Sydney. Welcome to you both. James, your doco, it's called Last Store Standing. I love this. For all of us that grew up with video stores, this is a trip down memory lane. What inspired you to devote a, devote a decade of your life to this subject? <laughs> I just love video stores. It was the whole experience of, like, searching the shelves. Um, and so... I, when I realised that these stores might be closing, I just had to capture this moment in time in case they were gone forever. Uh, ben, you are battling the tide. Tell us, how have you managed to keep the video store business afloat? Uh, basically just by listening to the community around me and uh, getting what they want and sometimes trying to get the movies they don't even know they want, I suppose. Ben, that is what I miss so much now. When you're watching any kind of streaming service, you've got no one to ask. What's it like? Do, you know, is that something that people really still enjoy? Yeah, absolutely. I have so many regular customers and I've known them for years, I know their taste and they just ask a recommendation and yeah, like I can provide it to them. And yeah, that kind of curated, personalised service I think is, is really lacking in the digital world. Yeah, and Ben, that's what's helped give you a real niche in the market, but tell me it's not true, you're planning to move on. Is that right? Uh, that's right, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm speaking to a group of people at the moment who are looking to take over the business from me and yeah, essentially I've been running the store for 10 years, kind of, you know, made it to uh, what it is and uh, yeah, now time to kind of pass it on to the next generation. Oh, oh. James, can I ask, what should people do with their, with their old videos? Well, when the stores close, they often go into these private libraries and that's where um, some movies can only be found. They're, they've become not available, but I, I think they should just be held on to. And I hope stores like Film Club, Ben Kenny's Film Club, keep these like awesome libraries intact because if they're lost, um, you know, in the closing of a store, they may just disappear. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of good content, isn't it? And a lot of good gumball machines as well. There was. And remember it used to say, be kind, rewind. Yeah, that's right. In the VHS. <laughs> Kids, you actually had to sit good for memory. about 10 minutes and rewind yeah. the, uh, the tapes. It's been great to talk to you both. Thank you. Thanks Thank so much. you. James, Ben. Yeah, good Thank stuff. Thank you.